Listen, Guardian. I was thinking hard about how to beat the Conductor, and Osiris stopped me. He said the Conductor is very strong and has abilities we cannot stand against. But, he said, maybe we can beat Maya Sandresh. Osiris told me the story of Maya, how she was lost in the Vex network, split into hundreds of copies, until the powers of the Echo brought her to life. The Conductor is one of those copies. Could be the first one, could be all of them smashed together. Maybe she does not even know herself. But Osiris is all Mayas are scientists, and we can see her thoughts in her experiments. We must find what she is trying to do. Failsafe has located pieces of tech to help you study the exobodies in Maya's laboratory. If we can learn what Maya is doing with those, maybe we can think of a way to stop her. Brains, not brawn, yes? The Conductor has that pile of exo-frames down in her lab. She was using them to host consciousnesses. I've been trying to figure out why, and then it hit me. Inconclusive. I need control data from other exos, and Europa's a great place to find some. Oh, this is good data. Yeah, I think I can almost decrypt another one of the Conductor's exos. All I need now is a cerebral host matrix. One of the classic brain models. Could you help me out, Captain? All right, I'm sure there's a host matrix around here. <clears throat> beep boop, beep boop. Nah, I'm kidding. I'll just mark it for you. I'm way better at finding stuff since you upgraded me. Thanks for that, by the way. Got it. If you're ready, we can head back into the conductor's lab. The exo-frame she's working on down there have got to be key to the golden age she keeps talking about. We just need to uncover their secrets before she kills us all. We must gain access to Sandoresh's facility once again. With the data Failsafe has collected, we can better determine Sandoresh's use of the exo-consciousnesses within the Vexnet. The Conductor seeks to assimilate all of Sol under her command. She desires a golden age. But what does she really mean? With her methods, uh, I do not assume benevolence. All I know is that it would undo everything we have accomplished since the Collapse. We cannot allow this. Empress Kaido believes that the Shadow Legion here are commanded by the Defector Scion, Yerix. It would explain their interest in Maya's research, and the Echo. It wouldn't just be access to the Vex Simulation Network. It would give Yerix command over an entire Vex Collective. You can see the danger in that. Maya is diverting Radiolaria to search the Vex Simulation Network peering into other timelines, trying to find our own past. And to that end, raising an army of her own collective to subsume Sol. She can use her Echo to control Vex, but these are under her command completely. She's converting them to serve her. <sighs> Do they even know what they're doing? Guardian down. Thunderous's use of Chioma prefigures a dangerous compromise. We knew that she was capable of stepping beyond the bounds of ethics in her experimentation, but now we know the extent. The threat is serious and imminent. Fidelity test. How did I make you cry on our wedding night? Maya? Maya? Where are we? How? We're alive. How did I make you cry on our wedding night? You didn't. I made you cry. Because I called you Sunrise. Surreal Day.
because your mother called you that. Because it reminded you she was gone. That she missed the happiest day of your life. And, and I touched your cheek. And I told you there's always another sunrise. Even after we see it set. The gaussing exomind. Sentimentality is higher than expected variance. Sunderest is bringing copies of her wife, Chioma Essie, out of the Vexnet. Finding them, interrogating them, and discarding them. For her golden age? No. No, perhaps what would be her own personal golden age. The wife she remembers. The one from her own simulation. And Maya will destroy Sol to find her. Osiris, I heard what the Guardian found. How could Maya do such a thing to Chioma, to the woman she loved? Sandarish convinced herself that she could never have loved this Chioma at all. Not this one, and not the others. But this Chioma loved Maya. We heard it. I am sorry for doubting, for believing the Conductor for even one moment. I am so sorry, Osiris, for doing that to you. Now, Saint, don't apologize, you. You were forgiven from the first. Guardian, I can now confirm. Every exoframe in Maya's lab once held the consciousness of Maya's wife, Chioma Essie. Each a, a different version, pulled from the Vex network. Uploaded, judged, found wanting, and eliminated. Guardian, there are details about Maya Sandres I kept from Saint. He did not need to know the cruelty of the hands that touched his mind, or how much they reminded me of my own. But today, I saw a reflection of myself had I lost my way. If I never found Saint and instead wrapped myself in obsession, I thought myself heroic in my search, a romantic, and that I was justified by my success. But what if I had not realized my good fortune? If I had met Saint, not with relief, but with skepticism, to imagine myself finding Saint, deciding he is wrong, killing him, and then starting again, it would have broken me. And I believe it has broken Maya. One capable of such horror has defiled the concept of love. Do not forget what you're dealing with. Guardian, we have managed to decrypt another personal log taken from Maya Sanderish's domain. At first, we discovered the method of her search, but we were mistaken as to what she was looking for. Now we understand. Here, listen. Maya Sandrush. Personal luck. Incidental. The variances have been outside of acceptable bounds on each attempt. Incomplete or divergent memories. Outsized or diminished emotional responses. These forgeries are not my tomb. Oh, the memories are baseline. There are other timelines that mirror this one so closely that my interrogation would not, by itself, yield my tumor. They all loved me. They all remembered the name of our daughter. That... A 
isn't the point. My Chilmar would understand what I'm doing here. All she needs to do is look at the state of soul since our time on New Mona. The mistake of the collapse. Clovis's hubris. The revelation of the witness. My Chilmar would see me as a savior and that she and I have a chance to rescue humanity from itself. Do you see? She's a Pygmalion carving her love from the Vex, too obsessed with her sculpture's perfection to see that the flaws lie within herself. She doesn't remember Chioma, no more than she remembers the Golden Age, their memories clouded by ego and need far removed from the real. Chioma will die a thousand deaths before Maya realizes her love is conditional. But perhaps we can find her real Chioma. And she can convince Maya of her error.